Uh, when Francine became big, was the character always going to run with Shane or were other performers mentioned for Francine? Triple Threat uh, was so dynamic and great, no other faction would have worked. So, obviously, I started with Stevie Richards, um, the plan in the crowd. Um, Shane had, I think, was he even in the company when I started? I don't think he was even back yet. When, um, you, when, did, you, when did you go on TV? 93 with- is when I started training. 94 is when I... When did you debut with Stevie? On TV, 95. What what month? I don't know. You don't remember. No. So he he leaves in around May ninety five. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think you, it might have been like literally two ships passing in the night. I don't. Uh, but I did see. I did house shows for a year and a half before I debuted for television, right. and I don't remember Shane ever being in the back. Like I I know he told me once I went with the pit bulls it wasn't going to be long-term and then Shane was back into the company. So maybe he knew, but he kept that a secret from me until like almost the very end. And I told the story before about Brian Lee pitching to have me be his valet or his manager. And I'm like, yeah, I go from the vinyl to chaps. Like, when am I going to be a lady? (laughs) Like, I want to wear cute clothes. You know what I mean? Um, And I love Brian. I wish we could get him on the show. We need to find him by the way he's He's out there he's out there he's he's out out there there. we need to find him um but i i really don't know uh what paul was thinking until like right uh, maybe a week or so before that table spot happened um that's when he called me and we had a really long conversation about where my character was going and i feel like if shane would have stayed with the company we would have just stayed together for the duration i i don't i honestly don't see me breaking away from him or turning on him because the dynamic between us was so strong um and again like sometimes change is good but if it ain't broke you don't fix it so we were a couple on screen for like three and a half years and that's when he left and went you know to wcw so um, who knows? Who knows what could have been if he stayed? I mean, things could have been totally different. Um, I, I, I really don't know. I was sad when he left because it was it was such a good partnership, you know. And now thirty years later, he's still around, <laughs> kind of, sort of. So it still worked out for the best. Yeah, I mean, it was cool when you would, you know, be with Candido when he would be in singles, you know, oh, I yeah. guess to an extent too, you know, Brian Lee is a singles. It'd be cool. You'd be with Brian Lee. So as a manager, it would be cool if they are in singles action, you be in their corner as opposed to being exclusive to Shane. Yeah. And, and for Bam Bam as well, I, I yeah, walked Bam 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 too, or, right. like Chris Candida would always come to me and say, listen, w- would you work with me tonight? You know, Tammy's not here. And he would say, would you do this spot with me like Tammy does it? And I'm like, whatever you want, Chris. Like, we're a team. Like, if you want me to come out with you, I'll come out with you. And then we would just say to Paul, is it okay if I go out with him? Yeah, go ahead, whatever. I was just afraid that people would get sick of me. Oh, here she comes again. Like, there's three guys. Let's have her out here again. You no, know well, that I mean? helps the manager side, you know, of your career. You know, when you're spread throughout the different... Well, yeah. People, I know, I mean, that, that's, that's mom, what's cool about it. I just didn't want to oversaturate the market with myself. Yeah, I get like, it. There right. was one night, and I think it was at the arena. We, Shane and I, we went to the ring five times oh, in one night. And I kept telling him, like, people, they hate us, but now they're sick of us. And he would go, <laughs> oh, I know, I'm sick of us, too. <laughs> it's like Every time, you, like, somebody's music would hit, and then our music would hit, and here we oh come again. Oh, my God. <laughs> there was five different times. Full and entrance I'm, and everything? Yeah, I think so. Oh, or or yeah. maybe we walked out during a promo, but we went out there five times to the ring in one night. And I was just like, this is just overkill. Like, I hate myself. <laughs> it's so annoying, you know what I mean? But... I don't know. Paul said it, it, it needed to be done. So we did it. Yeah, that's, uh, I would, I definitely would have liked to have seen the Brian Lee partnership. Maybe and see how that would have worked. Cause that's, it is such like a, and uh, that's intriguing, 
But I mean, you and Candido were great. I, I think that's yeah. an awesome partnership too. So I mean, there's there is a lot more where they could have branched you off within the triple threat as just singles, where the triple threat members didn't get involved. It's just you and X more often. Working with different people helps your character grow and you get to do different things with different men. Um, you know, when I worked with Shane, it was a little more serious than working with Chris Candido. Chris Candido, he's one of the guys that would never want to call a match in the back. He always wanted to call it in the ring. And I always used to say to him, what's my spot? And he'd go, I'll tell you out there. So I would literally go out there blind, not knowing what he wanted me to do. And like in the middle of the match, he would say, hey, Francine, go get me a chair. Okay. So I would go and I would get him a chair. Or, hey, Francine, we need a table. Tell me what corner the table's in. I'd look, you'd see me looking under the, oh, it's over here. Okay. You want me to pull it out? Okay. He would tell me as we went along, because that's how Chris worked. Shane, on the other hand, we went over things and we sat in the back and we would, talk about it and discuss it and everybody works differently um i liked chris's way because i didn't have to remember anything and it was just spontaneous and i was never really on edge because i'm like well i don't have anything to forget i'm just gonna go out there and have a good time and listen and when he tells me to do something i'll do something um with shane enjoyed everything but i needed to know what was coming up. I needed to be two steps ahead. So I would always like sit and listen to everything. That way, if Shane needed something and he couldn't get to it, oh, I know this spot. He needs this chair. I'm going to go get him a chair. I wanted to remember as much as I could about everything because if, you know, sometimes the guys need help and I was there to help. Excellent. Yeah. That's awesome. We help each other. That's very nice. Still to <laughs> so this day. Nice. Yes. 